Live from Cape Town, this is the voice of the Cape. The voice of the Cape. An eventful day in South Africa. Local government elections 2016. VOC bringing you live coverage from across the Western Cape as uh, Cape Tonians and South Africans headed to the polls on Wednesday, the 3rd of August. At the IEC Results Centre in Century City, IEC Western Cape Head Courtney Sampson addressed journalists this evening, reporting that things had run very smoothly across the Western Cape today. Some complaints coming through from political parties, but only the most serious complaints are being dealt with. He also reported on one incident in which a candidate had stabbed another candidate with a key. It had a, an element of somebody a candidate stabbing another candidate with a key. So I, I don't know how, but we felt that it is important that people lay charges with the police on something of that nature. I've never stabbed anybody with a key, but apparently it has happened. VOC also interacted with the many political leaders at the broadcasting booth on the IEC and they shared their thoughts on election day. There were ballot papers that were found to have been already marked before everybody else could be able to cast their votes. And then voters came out and they declared to us that that is the situation, they were marked A and C. And then even the voting district itself, it was open very late. There were situations whereby people were, even in the, in, the, in the special votes, during the special votes, there were votes that were not put in the envelope. They were put direct into the boxes and they were utilizing two boxes. And then the intention, we, we questioned it and then it could not be clarified. So there's been a number of discrepancies that have been going on on the ground. So we cannot say that the elections would be free and fair. And fair. We understand that the IEC management at the provincial level might want that, but the staff at the, on the ground is very much compromising them. We said this during the signing of the, of the Code of Conduct. It's not about myself or the DI because the DI is not just about us building a political party. As I said, we look into our manifesto, what we stand for, and that is the uh, uh, upliftment and empowerment of our people, the empowerment and upliftment of our communities to build that dignified and uh, unified nation. And uh, I think that should be all councillors or all political parties' aim and objectives because people are suffering. They haven't moved an inch from uh, the strife that they were in prior to 94, and they still, most of the people are still in the same conditions. We also spoke to the MJC's election observer, Malan Abdul Khalik Ali. Motivating our young sons and our young daughters to become active South African citizens and to be able to contribute to its uh, development in, in, the, in the democratic processes like the elections of today. It requires uh, deep thinking uh, within uh, the educational sphere, within the domestic sphere, and I think one of the things that Sheikh Irfan has been speaking about is for, um, for, for the education to speak about the rich legacy and the history of where we came from. Young people today, they don't have uh, a clue or they don't have an appreciation or they don't want to understand where we come from. And the mere fact that we have or that we are able to have uh, a... a, a a freedom of, of voting must be celebrated equally by them. We've got quite a bit of work to do. No, absolutely. I mean, the, this whole history of, history of history is very important because Madiba actually said, one of the first things he said, forgive but don't forget. And I often wonder whether we've actually understood what he really meant because as far as I can see now, not to forget means to remember who we were historically and where we should be going to in the future as well. Truly. And I, and I think that is a dimension that we have got, I think the senior people within our community, people like yourselves, uh, we, we have got the added responsibility of a process. Mm -hmm. The next election is only going to be in a couple of years. So how are we going to turn this around for the next election? What are the mechanisms which have to be, in, which has to be introduced to make uh, the younger people greater interest towards wanting to participate in the elections. I think that is going to be one of the challenges for 
the faith communities, for ourselves as the Muslim Judicial Council, and uh, for about everybody within, the, within our community and society leadership. That's a wrap from VOC on Election Day. From myself, Tasneem Adams, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Live from Cape Town, this is the voice of the Cape. The voice of the Cape.